Now that we've seen a few different locks, it's time to think about your own security. Now the first question you need to ask yourself is what is it that I'm securing? What's the total security picture? Is this a suburban home? Is this a fifth floor walk-up apartment? Is this a corporate facility with multiple buildings and many, many key holders? Each of those thoughts, each of those contexts, is going to need a different security solution. So if you're just securing a residential home or a fourth floor apartment that still has plenty of exposed glass and things like that, the lock probably won't be the primary means of entry to an attacker. So what you're looking for in that case is something that's going to work reliably, be affordable, and be made out of high quality materials. There are also some special features of different locks. Uh, if you're interested in something that's rekeyable, so that if you have a babysitter, you can easily rekey it for, you know, for them that night and then bring it back to your own key system the next day. Or key it differently every Thursday for when you have a cleaning lady coming over or something like that. In an apartment context, if you're on the second, third, fourth, fifth floor, whatever, or if you're on a first floor with bars on the windows, then the lock will probably be the primary means of access. And I would suggest that you try to get off of the master key system in the building. We saw earlier that master keying can dramatically decrease the security of a lock. Additionally, you can observe a master key system and determine what the master key for it is. If somebody can figure out the master key for your building, they can then access any of the apartments in the building. I don't say this to scare you, it's very rare that somebody would go to that sort of effort. However, it's worth realizing, and if you care about the security of your home, it's worth upgrading to something that will primarily be off of the master key system, you'll want to talk to your landlord about going off of that, and will allow you a higher level of physical security as well. Some good options, and again, hopefully this is an international audience, so there are going to be a lot of things out there. But look at multi-lock. Many locks from the ASA Abloy group, in particular the Abloy locks. Abloy ProTech, Abloy Exec, things like that. The Bylock Company makes some phenomenal locks. I believe they're actually called the Australian Lock Company, but their primary lock is the Bylock. Schlage Primus for your own apartment door is great. Has some problems when it comes to corporate security, but an individual Schlage Primus is a very difficult lock to get through. And Medico, of course. Now there are many above and beyond all of that. Uh, Ingersoll make amazing locks in England. Um, man, there are a lot, of, uh, a lot of lock manufacturers out there. But generally, just look for something a little bit above and beyond the normal lock that you probably had assigned to your door when you first moved in and try to get off of that master key system. There are in fact a lot of local laws and legislation in certain places that will force the hand of the landlord so that you might have to turn a set of keys over to them so they can still gain access to, their, to your apartment when they have to, um, but will allow you to at least get off that master system. Now, corporate security is its own context altogether and has a couple of specific considerations. You want to operate in layers in corporate security. First of all, of course, you're going to need a master key system. If you have multiple buildings, you're probably going to be working with a submaster. So you have your grandmaster or your great grandmaster key, which will open any door to any building. You'll then potentially even have a slightly different keyway and a submaster that fits that keyway for each building. None of which will work with each other's, but the grandmaster can work with every building's keyway. Additionally, you may even have secretarial keying or sub-submastering in those individual buildings, where one key might open a series of offices, um, and, and even then you might have some keys that are specifically meant for a particular door but can still be opened by the masters. The big thing, though, is that if you have rooms that you need incredibly limited access to, and that you need to make sure the public can't get access to whatsoever or any outside influence, take it off the master system. Just pull it off completely, have an entirely different locking concept on that door, and a separate set of keys that will only operate that door or those couple of doors. This is great for, uh, you know, a server room, <clears throat> for uh, financial institutions, for, for any room that you just need 
that extra level of security for, pull it off that master key system. It'll be less convenient, but generally we have to trade off a little convenience for a lot of security. And finally, this is all assuming that you're already working with a high security lock. There's something very important to consider in corporate security called regional sidebar coding, whereby some high security locks will have a sidebar, but the sidebar will actually be the same for every lock in a building, and the master keying is done on the lower security cylinder. What that means is that if you can gain access to a valid key, that valid key will reveal to you what the sidebar for the lock is. Once you know the sidebar for one lock, you know the sidebar for every lock in the facility. Defeating that high security mechanism incredibly easily. And if the lower security mechanism is master keyed, you know that you can defeat that one easily as well. There are a lot of locks to avoid in that category, but Schlage Primus in particular, um, the Asset Twin, the Asset Twin by itself should be avoided, but the Asset Twin combi adds a tertiary layer of security and some very, very cool security pins. Um, but in general, you just want to figure out if your high security lock is being regionally sidebar coded or not. Good example of the reverse is the ABUS Integral. Not uh, they're able to master key on the sidebar itself, which is a big step forward. Okay. Anyway, I could go on and on and on with individual examples, but I just want you to be able to think in layers for corporate security, think off the master for apartment or city dwelling, and think reliability and materials for a residential context. Hope that makes sense, and if you have other questions or more specific questions, definitely hit me up.